it's great to look back at uh, previous generations and draw inspiration and draw knowledge from the challenges that they faced uh, and know that um, throughout history, you know, Australian film always, has always struggled in some, some way or another, but it's also blossomed and prospered at certain points as well. So, you know, for me, um, a very inspiring period of the, you know, the early 70s and the, and the 80s, you know, where people like Gillian Armstrong and Phil Noyce and George Miller, who I call the kind of architects of the Australian cinema we have now, started. And that period for me is a very, very exciting, rich, fertile uh, period because these were filmmakers making not only genre films, they were making um, their own personal films, they were making an Australian cinema that was recognised internationally and they were making films about Australia un that were uniquely Australian but also um, universal. And uh, again as an Australian filmmaker I find that incredibly exciting that you can tap into that, that source or into that energy um, at any point and use it as a, as a sort of a, um, as, as I said, like, as kind of like as food <laughs> to keep you sustained and to realise that ultimately it's, 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 it's making films that you believe in and knowing that ultimately that audiences are out there somewhere.